So one of the things that I think sometimes gets overlooked in these big projects is change management and the impact it really has on the success of a project or a big initiative. Can you give us your thoughts on that? Yes, I totally agree. Um, you as an IT professional, I can deliver the best technology in the world, but if it's never used and adopted, it's, it's kind of a waste of the company's money and effort. So it really is important. And what I've learned, I've been leading change my entire career. And what I've learned is you really got to bring people along. You've got to explain the compelling reason why they should care. You got to explain what's in it for them, you know, why they should why they should jump on the bandwagon. And hopefully it's not like you're convincing them. Hopefully the technology in the output and what you're introducing is a value. And again, I'm going to go back to the days when we decided that we didn't have mobile phones in the office. We didn't have them. And it was this big debate about whether we should let mobile phones come in. And a lot of IT professionals were saying, look, I don't want to merge personal and professional data. I don't want, as much as I love my employees, I don't want all their family pictures on my network and my server in the office. And this big debate. And then we had these individuals that would say, well, what about the speakerphone? We need the speakerphone in the conference rooms. I mean, it was so, in some ways, it's kind of silly and we laugh about it, but that's the reality of what happens when you introduce a massive change. You have to think through all these different use cases and variables, and you have to bring people along. So I've always said that when you're instituting change, you always have you know, 60% in the middle that will move, but you have 20% that are the influencers in a good way and 20% are naysayers and will give you all the reasons why it won't work. When you create a transformational program, you got to get everybody. In fact, bring in those 20% naysayers because they're always going to have a what if or a concern that you should think about as you're deploying this. So it's easy to get the ambassadors, but bring in some of the naysayers because you're going to get those that resistance identified up front and then you can work through it. And then as you convince the naysayers that this really is a good thing, then all of a sudden they become ambassadors. So it is a really important point that you don't forget that. With this new technology, it's going to be about adoption because it works, because it adds value. Like think of your mobile phone. My 84-year-old mother uses her phone, her mobile phone, and asks me once in a while about adding a new app. Like it's just so simple and so easy and so natural that as we've all progressed, that the technology becomes that way, that it's less, it's less really about a sophisticated change management. It's more about building in change management and the change management thinking into the organization.